Welcome back to the Good Vibes Summer Audio Fiction Podcast. You are in for quite the treat in a show written by Christopher Soucy. It's called That Last Summer. It's a wonderful show. I hope you enjoy it. Forget the magic of summer. Probably because once you get out of school, summer's just like any other time of year, only hotter. But the last summer that anyone calls summer has a special magic to it. It clings to you in a way that colors all your memories and sunlight hues. This is Perry. Now to our eyes, Perry looks to be 48, but truth be told, He's still that 17-year-old boy that he was all those years ago in Elton, Georgia. The exterior aged, but the heart stayed the same. This is Meredith. She's the same age as Perry. She has the same peculiar affliction, a stunted heart, trapped in a summer long, long ago. When are you leaving for school? Not for another two weeks. Wow, that's coming fast. Not fast enough. No? No. I'm gonna miss you. You'll be fine. I know. This is a moment that plays over and over in each of their minds. A long reflection cast over their entire lives. They spent the last two weeks of their last summer together dancing around the truth they desperately wanted to share. Well, I guess this is it, huh? You say that like we won't see each other all the time. I'm just going upstate. Might as well be the moon. I'll be back. I know. Hey, I will. I know. She did come back but she stayed for shorter and shorter visits until she was gone completely. About 10 years later, they ran into each other at a convenience store just outside of Greensboro. Mayor, is that you? Pear? Oh my God. Oh my God. What are you doing here? I'm headed home to visit mom and dad. Oh wow, what are the odds? What about you? I am headed to a conference in Florida. No kidding. I can't believe this. I never come this way. Uh, me neither. Must be fate. Must be. <laughs> uh, so how's Angie? Oh, uh, good, good. Yeah, well, we, we divorced earlier this year. Oh no. I'm so sorry. It's okay. We just wanted different things, you know? Sure. What about you? Y you got someone? Oh, yes. I'm engaged. Oh, wow. Congrats. Thanks. That's so great. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Hmm. Well, I really should go. Right. Uh, me too. So good to see you. You too. They went their separate ways. In their minds, it was just a chance encounter with an old friend. But in their hearts, it was that last summer all over again. Things they wish they said and things they wish they had done hung in the air long after they had moved on. Of course, social media was just burgeoning at the time. Suddenly, they found themselves capable of connecting in casual but meaningful ways, with little threat of exposing their true feelings. Happy birthday! Thanks! Merry Christmas! <laughs> you too! Cute pick! Thanks! Sorry to hear that. Happy birthday! Thanks! 
Happy Fourth. America. <laughs> LOL. LOL. Emoji. What is that? <laughs> it was supposed to be a heart, but I put the wrong thing in front of the three. Oh. <laughs> LOL. LOL. It went on like that for over a decade. Wedding pics. Kids. New home. New job. Vacation at Disney. Camping in Pigeon Forge. We're happy. We're happy. They were happy. Make no mistake. Happiness will find people when they least expect. So will heartache. We had to put Muffin to sleep. Oh, no. I'm sorry to hear about your mother. Thanks. She was sick a while. I guess it's a good thing she isn't suffering. It still sucks. What's going on? Why are you single? <laughs> Long story. What about the kids? I still see them all the time. That's good. Are you okay? Mayor? You okay? A mayor. I'm so sorry. I want to help. How can I help? Thanks, Pear. I don't think there's anything you can do. I'm so sorry. Thanks. I never thought I'd be a widow at 45. 30 years, three children, Perry's two daughters and Meredith's son, three weddings, Perry's two and Meredith's one, two parents' death, Perry's father and Meredith's mother, one spouse death, Meredith's husband passed after an accident at his workplace. 30 years from that last summer they spent together, the brightness of the summer sun casts long, dark shadows that stretch over the years. Perry reached out to Meredith and asked if she'd like to visit Alton. Thirty years to the day we started our tale. It's weird. It really is. It's the same. No, it's changed so much. But still, the same. I guess. I'm glad you came. Me too. I, uh... What? I, I want to say something. Okay. It's just... I want to, but I also don't want to. Cryptic? You remember that last summer we spent together? Sure. I think about it all the time. Me too. Remember how all our friends used to tease us? Oh, God, yes. They wouldn't let up. I know. We kept telling them we were just friends. And that's it. But they kept saying we were a couple. Sneaking around. Yeah. Yeah. But I always kind of wished... What? I can't seem to... Uh, I don't know why. Just spit it out. I always wished we were. Were what? A couple. Really? Yeah. You idiot. What? You are an idiot. Why? Why didn't you say something? Why? We, uh... I was afraid. Of me? Well, no. Well, I don't know. I think I valued what we had more than what we could have had. It could have been a disaster. I'm pretty sure it would have been. <laughs> yeah. But there's a part of me that's always right here. Standing right on this spot. We had two weeks before you left for UGA. And I said, I'm gonna miss you. I remember. 
I said, you're gonna be fine. Yeah. But all my life, from that moment till right now, I wished with every fiber of my being that I had the guts to say I love you. We would have led different lives. Would we have? Yes. I was looking for any excuse to stay, Pear. I was afraid of the big bad world. I probably would have taken that as a sign. I probably would have sabotaged my future to be with you. And I think we both know you suck at being in a committed relationship. Hey. Pear. Well, okay, fair. But that's because no one was you. That's not fair. You can't put your failed marriages on my shoulders. No, I'm not. But it is true that they weren't you. Oh, God. I'm so glad you didn't say it. Really? Of course. Think of your daughters, my son. Think of all the things we've seen and done. I don't regret any of it. No, I, I wouldn't say I regret any of it, except letting you know how I felt. <laughs> you think I'm stupid or something? You mean you knew? Yes, Pear. I knew since seventh grade. Well, I, why didn't you say something? Why didn't you? I was afraid. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Time is a funny thing. Sometimes it fools you into thinking it comes and goes in cycles. But the truth is, it's accumulative. All the events stack up and move forward with you. When you think you're living in the past, truth is, you're just noticing the full burden of time on your shoulders. But you should know, we don't have to carry it. It will follow us without effort. It is who we are. And for Perry and Meredith, the time is now and then. This is the present and that last summer they spent together. And when it comes down to it, neither of them would change a thing. I love you, Mayor. I always have. I love you, Pear. And it took me a few years to come around to it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining us for That Last Summer by Chris Soucy, directed by Derek Kingsley, starring Dana Hall, Jeff Cabral, and Helen Mao, featuring editing by Broken Arts Entertainment. Uh, we hope you are having an awesome summer and that you'll continue to enjoy Broken Arts Entertainment. 